You have to believe in yourself and your vision for a very long time before anyone else will. Plant lots and lots of seeds and hopefully one will grow. I realized that in the future, design would be different. It would be collaborative, online and easy to learn. At university, I was frustrated by how long it took to learn to use design software. I asked myself, why shouldn't everybody be able to create beautiful designs? That's how the idea for Canva came about. I feel like every single lesson that you learn in a startup is just in time or sometimes just after you needed to know it. If you are determined and you want it, just go for it. Know that determination wins. To build a startup, you have to run against the grain for years. Every single aspect has been a steep learning curve. I've always wanted to create a company that I wanted to work in, something that was very casual and very fun, where people are motivated to do incredible things. When people join a startup, they need to embrace change and the chaos that comes with being at a fast-growing company. You want people who thrive in these settings and who are willing to forge their own path. Find people that like you and don't worry about people who don't like you. You must have determination and guts. As a leader, I feel my job is to set the vision and goals for the company and then to work with everyone to empower them to dream big and crazy. I want to set them up to set the best work of their lives and to achieve those crazy big goals. I think that trying to create that shape and create that little moment of pride for people when they join a new company is a lot of fun and really critical. If it were easy, it probably wouldn't be worth doing. If you get your foot in the door just a tiny bit, you have to kind of wedge it all the way in. The problem you solve must be ambitious. You want to make sure that the solution you create solves a deep problem that people care about. Solve customer problems and make sure that the customer is representative of a large market and then you will have a pretty good formula. Find something that is truly significant. Find a problem faced by lots of people. Remember, rejection is part of the growth process. The rejection is often not because of the reasons you think they are rejecting you. If you believe one person who says you can't, you have to believe one person who says you can. I had the mindset that every no is one step closer to the client who would say yes. Wherever possible, don't believe it's point number one. Just concentrate on your goals. 
If you can offer a free tier that provides a lot of value, it may naturally help your product to spread much more rapidly. Love challenges and know it's hard for absolutely everyone. Don't be obsessed with the drug called venture capital. Every time we got a knockback and understood why people wouldn't invest, we changed and revised our page. Failure was never an option. Keep it simple, but keep it fun. Anyone can have a solution, but if no one cares about it, unfortunately, you are not going to have a very big company. Ask for feedback often. Ask for help more. We must realize that as entrepreneurs, our business is like a living, breeding being and will continue to grow and evolve over time. It's your customer's insight that will help you take your business to, to the next level. What we initially start out launching will transform into something else and we shouldn't be stuck on the original concept that we created. If you are determined to solve a problem and passionate to learn everything as you go, that is enough. If I put enough effort into something, I could out effort most people. And when you realize that effort is the main ingredient required for things, it's a pretty powerful lesson to learn. Wherever possible, blame things you can fix. Being an entrepreneur is an incredible path. It's challenging. It's a roller coaster. It's exhilarating. It's my dream job. Don't care about the stats. Five tips for budding entrepreneur. Solve the problem. Build community. Provide value. Focus on amazing customer service. And simplify the experience. I feel like we don't done we have done an incredible job but we've done very little compared to what we want to do. We've done 1% of what I think is possible. Find a way to gain clarity. For me, it's writing morning pages. They are my secret weapon and help me process information. Accept that you won't know all the answers. You are going to have to ask a lot of people for the advice and help but then you are going to have to distill it down to what makes sense for you i feel it's always important for entrepreneurs to use their business to give back you can start off small obviously we aren't all able to give away billions of dollars provide time or services to organizations pro bono and go from there. Our company mission is to empower the world to design and we really mean the whole world. Imagine the future. It's important to figure out what is that first tiny step that will take you in the right direction. For me, it's always a kind of more optimistic, more egalitarian world. Finally, go get them.